Me tube, another review here. Snacksters, super subs, chip shop style sausage sub. Basically, just a hot dog. Saw this uh, BHA FC did this one uh, a while back. Uh, he gave it good things about it. He, he, he likes it. So I am also quite interested to try this myself. Uh, Asda saw a load of stuff. So this is one one of the other things that I've got. Really looking forward to this because he's one he did look good at the time. I mean I can't remember the review too well, but all I remember is going on about it's sort of fireworks night. This is all sort of, you know. This is the sort of stuff you have around. Anyway, anyway looked alright. So here we go. Check out the packet. Two hundred grams, which is which is good. One pound, also good. And I was checking out the cooking instructions on this baby. Don't know if you can see that. Basically, it says remove all packaging and place a sauce in hot water. Remove the sausage from the sub roll and place in a microwave plate. Cook on full power for it's either two minutes or 140. Not sure which I'll do. Uh, place sausage back in the sub roll. Clean it on a clean microwave plate, cook for a further 1 minute 50 stand 30 seconds, so it seems fairly simple, not even I could mess this up, which maybe I will so that's it there, let's, let's have a quick look um, take the box apart just give me a second here just have a quick rock hard in the freezer, so that's the sauce there. That's the packet. Looks like, looks like that is two tear bits, maybe three. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's pretty frozen. Can I really be bothered to um, wait for that to sort of defrost? really cold. I don't know. Think about that. Um, and there we go. See it. Big sausage there. And the sub roll. So, uh, yeah, I think the next thing is um, I'll sort it out and we'll be back. That is a big sausage. That is good. Not like the wimpy rustlers and quicksters you know like the hot dog ones I mean, that's proper that's 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 good looking at that and that's gonna go in that I did use their ketchup I've, I've whacked a bit of cheese on as well I'm thinking starving hungry got a cheese in the fridge might as well whack it on anyway so bit of ketchup on top that's gonna go in the middle I'll just put it on now over the barbecue sauce so that's going to be like that oh, a bit of mayhem going on so you see what I'm saying there it's going to be like that and then that's going to go on top of that go in the neat machine and we'll see how it looks back in a bit chip shop style sausage sub and let's have a look this is it at the nuking process and let's do the bun test already soft that's nice bottom bun it's feeling soft as well let's lift the lid and you can see it there got the ketchup got my cheese that I added I'm really looking forward to this one and on the bottom you've got the barbecue sauce with a little bit more cheese that's the, the, the roll seems so good it's not going hard at all it's nice so I'm going to put you down it's going to be piping hot but put you down by uh, so look, there you are Sylvester what are you up to? hunting for more food yeah, you won't get none because I've got it. I'm going to eat. So, there you go. 
I'm going to take a bite of this. Try to pick it up without making too much mess. Well, that's so good. I'm just going to take one more bite. Taking a few bites out of that, I've got to say that's amazing. That's one pound that is. I just want to have a look at the ingredients, see what the sausage is about on here. Point at the bowl, we'll have a quick, quick scan. Beef sausage, 48%, pork, 31 Okay, so. 48% but it does taste good and I've been into some calves and that where um, you know this tastes a lot better sausage or well, tastes the same anyway at BHAFC the Worthing station that I used to go to um, in Worthing station area there's a calf opposite there and when I was having to go up there I used to go into that calf and I used to uh, get a sausage baguette and I'll say that tastes nicer than what they do. So, yeah, it, it's good. I'll definitely buy that again. I'll, I'll probably stock up a bit in my, my freezer. I'd allow a bit of room for that one. So, all I can say is, um, yeah, nice one. Nice one for putting me onto that. I will be enjoying all of that. So, yeah, in the meantime, yeah, if you're up Asda, definitely grab yourself one of these. So take it easy.